welcome to my channel learn more math uh, my name is vara kumar uh, today we are going to start a new chapter uh, sets uh, this is second chapter in our textbook a uh, uh, very very easy chapter and very important chapter so we have totally 14 chapters uh, among those 14 chapters uh, this second chapter sets is very easy and important uh, so uh, we can get each type of questions in the examinations from this chapter uh, we can get one mark question two marks four marks and objective type so very easy chapter uh, what we learn in this chapter just uh, see here uh, these topics we learn in this chapter first one is definition and examples of sets so how can we define a set and what are the examples of sets so next second one representation of sets this is very very important representation of sets sets can be represented in two forms one is a roster form and the second one is a set builder form so these are the representation of sets so here we get a a four marks problem this is very important so next types of sets so we have empty set or null set or it is also known as void set so next universal set subset and superset equal sets and equivalent sets finite and infinite sets so these are the types of sets so next basic operations on sets so union of sets intersection of sets and difference of sets so next we have to learn about venn diagrams of sets so cardinality of a finite set so these topics we have to learn in this chapter so among these topics uh, uh, we have four exercises into a second problem so we have to learn, discuss one by one uh, first uh, these two topics cover in first exercise uh, and uh, types of sets and operations of sets cover uh, operations of sets cover in second exercise uh, types of sets and venn diagrams cover in third exercise uh, finite and infinite equivalent sets uh, cover in fourth exercise so we have to learn one by one so first uh, uh, now we have to learn what is uh, definition and examples and uh, represent of sets before going to solve problems in a 2.1 exercise uh, see here how can we define uh, see here and uh, now we have to learn the definition and examples of the set uh, how can we define a set uh, a well-defined uh, collection of uh, distinct objects is called a set a well-defined collection of uh, distinct objects is called a set uh, so generally sets are denoted by capital letters like capital A, capital B, capital C and so on. And the objects are called the elements of the set. Objects are called the elements of the set and these are denoted by small letters like A, B, C, D and so on. Uh, see here uh, uh, a well defined collection of uh, distinct objects is called a set generally sets are denoted by capital letters like a b c d and the objects belonging to the set are known as elements uh, these are denoted by small letters a b c and so on example so a is equal to set of even numbers second one b is equal to set of a e i o u we use these brackets these brackets are called curly brackets or flower brackets so we use these brackets to denote the sets so curly brackets or flower brackets so now uh, see here how can we understand the definition well defined means what is well defined suppose here there is a statement set of all even numbers so what are the even numbers we must say the uh, elements of the set or objects of the sets he has given even numbers so, so we are saying the objects are elements 2 4 6 8 and so on we are saying very clearly 
and uh, if anybody say any element we have to say whether it is belongs to the element or does not belongs to the elements and the elements should be universal so suppose uh, i am saying 2 4 6 8 and so on these are the even numbers if anybody say uh, 3 we can say 3 does not belong to the uh, set so that is well defined that is well defined suppose uh, uh, there is a statement or sentence uh, 10 most talented students in your class i said 10 most talented students in your class so here uh, what are the elements of the set so there are 20 students in the class suppose there are 20 students in the class i am saying 10 most talented students so who are the 10 most talented how can we decide the uh, talent whether depending upon the marks or depending upon the general cleverness or how it there is no a uh, general criteria for uh, saying the talentedness uh, so here uh, the elements are not universal some will say some 10 students and i will say some other 10 students uh, the elements are not universal here it is not possible to select the elements uh, suppose if somebody says uh, uh, some x person is talented but some other says he is not talented so in that case it is not possible to decide whether it is belong to the set or not so in such case they it is not a set so well defined means you have to understand very clearly well defined means we have to select or we have to select the elements universal elements and if any element is a if any element we have to decide any element whether it is belong to the set or not that is well defined so next so there are some problems in 2.1 exercise so there we can understand very clearly so next uh, symbols uh, we use these two symbols uh, this is uh, belongs to and this is does not belong to so read as this symbol is equal to belongs to and it is equal to does not belong to so what it means see here any elements or objects belonging to the set then we use the symbol belongs to if they not belonging to the set we use the symbol does not belong to so example see here a is equal to set of minus 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 2 then minus 1 belongs to a since minus 1 is there in the set a since minus 1 is there in the set A, we use minus 1 belongs to set A, comma 3 does not belongs to set A. Since 3 is not there in the set A, we use this symbol 3 does not belongs to set A, 3 does not belong to set A. So again we have problems in 2.1 exercise on these symbols. So this is the definition and the notation and uh, uh, meaning of the sets. Uh, so next uh, we have to learn about uh, representation of sets, uh, roster form and set builder form. So see now here. we have to learn about the representation of sets. Uh, sets can be represented in two forms, a roster form and a set builder form. Uh, this topic is very very important uh, conversion of sets from set builder form to roster form and a roster form to set builder form very very important topic definitely you can get one four marks problem from this topic so see here just you have to understand clearly you can write very easily and the conversion also you can do very easily uh, see here uh, uh, what is a roster form and what is a set builder form so see here uh, sets can be represented in roster form and uh, in set builder form so roster form so what is roster form and how can we write in the roster form in this roster form all elements can be written by separating with commas uh, within the curly brackets uh, example number one a is equal to set of a comma e comma i comma o comma u so in the roster form we write all the elements which are present in the uh, set within the curly brackets so we write all the list of elements all elements we can write in the roster form so this is example 2 b is equal to set of 
टू कामा फोर कामा सिक्स कामा एट सो दीज टू आर द एक्सापल फॉर रोस्टर फॉर्म दिस इज द नोटेशन आर रोस्टर फॉर्म ऑफ द सेट्स सो नेक्स्ट वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट सेट्स इन सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म सो सेकेंड वन इज सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म इन दिस इन दिस सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म we use x for the element of the set followed by a colon of followed by a colon after we write the characteristic property possessed by the elements of the set so just in this set builder form we need not to write all the elements we write an element x followed by colon and the property possessed by the all the elements only we write property so see here example number 1 c is equal to set of for set of all x set of all x such that read is such that x is a multiple of 3 and x less than 10 so here we write a characteristic property possessed by all elements of the set so here we need not to write a Uh, all elements uh, that is the difference of roster form and set builder form that you have to remember so read as how can we read just uh, see here uh, set of all x set of all x such that read this colon as such that x is a multiple of 3 and x less than 10 so next example 2 d is equal to set of all x such that x is an even prime so this is the uh, set builder form and it is the roster form so now conversion of roster form into set builder form and set builder form into roster form very very important uh, see here these two are in set builder form uh, sorry these two are in roster form now i am writing in set builder form just uh, how can we write see here just a uh, set builder form so uh, this is the set builder form of the first one a is equal to uh, we have to write a start curly bracket first select element x to write set builder form we have to select an element x and write colon x read it is as is colon that is such that and uh, what is x we have to define x x is what here you have to observe the common you have to write a common property possessed by all the elements so a e i o u what are these called vowels of english alphabets vowels of english alphabet so here x is a vowel x is a vowel x is a vowel of english alphabet so like this we can write the set builder form of the uh, first one so see here how i have written uh, start with the curly bracket write element x and write colon so we have to write uh, by observing the all elements we have to write a characteristic property that should that should possess all the elements x is a vowel of english alphabets x is a vowel of english alphabets so all these are vowels so next uh, this is the uh, conversion into set builder form next uh, uh, we have to write a second one so b is equal to b is equal to so what is there here 2 4 6 8 is there first uh, write x colon so x is what here x is a multiple of 2 x is a multiple of 2 uh, sorry uh, yes x is a multiple of 2 x less than 9 or that we have to write x is a multiple of 2 and up to where x is less than 9 so multiple of 2 means we can get 2 4 6 8 Uh, 10 or 12 like that but uh, here only up to 8 is there we have to write x less than 9 so this is the common property that should possess all the elements so this is the conversion of roster form to set builder form 
so now here there are two set builder forms now we have to convert into roster form so how can we write see here uh, c is equal to in the roster form we have to write all the elements by separating with commas so here x is such that x is a multiple of 3 and x is less than 10 so here uh, we have to write multiples of 3 and they must less than 10 only so we get uh, 3 6 9 so these three are the multiples of three less than 10 so this is the roster form of the uh, set c so next uh, uh, d is equal to what is there d here uh, d is equal to set of x such that x is an even prime we have to write only even primes there is one and only one element in even prime that is a two uh, d is equal to set of two even prime is only two so like this we can convert uh, uh, sets into set builder form to roster form and roster form to set builder form uh, very very important we get four marks from here so that's all today's class uh, we'll meet in the next class with uh, uh, in the next class we will do problems in excess 2.1 so thanks for watching.